Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is literally the first time I have sat down and filmed in nearly two weeks. And I actually feel really happy that I'm back filming again. So I have had so much going on over in the like the last two to three weeks and stuff like that. My life has been hectic. So much has been happening and honestly, you guys may have seen it. I put up on Instagram. Um, on my story that I just needed some time to myself. I needed to take the pressure away of uploading videos, uploading photos, uploading anything really on my social medias. I just needed some time to myself to sort out quite a lot of things, um, but I'm back and everything is okay. Everything is fine now. Um, so I'm a lot happier. And I honestly, like if I had filmed a week or two ago, they would have been the crappiest videos I think I've ever uploaded. Crappier than when I first started YouTube. So today I'm just going to be sitting down doing my makeup. I already have my foundation on because I am currently doing a foundation first impressions and that video will probably be up before this video. If it's not, it'll be up soon. And if it is, I will link it in the description box down below. Below. So yeah, I've just got a bunch of new makeup, not a full face, but just lots of new things to try. I have tried out of my new products. I have tried one thing in here and honestly, I had the worst impressions of it so far. So I'm trying it again, but today is just going to be super natural, very wearable makeup. I'm not going crazy because I'm not even leaving the house today. I'm going to go and do my eyebrows first. And I don't know why I'm using this product because when I used it, I told you guys I hated it. And I think I still do, but I'm just gonna give it another go. I'm gonna use the Savvy Brow Wax in the shade Espresso. I swear it was called Espresso, but apparently it's called Medium Dark. Cool, okay. So I'm gonna use that today and I'm just gonna give this another chance, even though when I first used it, I literally despised this product. I already hate it. See, I'm the type of person that once I start using a product, I have to use it on or off camera. Like I have to use it. I don't want to waste it. And, like I feel bad sometimes like selling my makeup as well. Cause I'm like, Ugh, I've used it. You know, like I feel, I don't want to give people like crappy products. Oh my God, it's pulling out my eyebrow hairs. Okay, so that's like all I can use of that because it's, it's honestly just too annoying. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with my Essence Stylist set, just with the darkest color and just kind of like fill in those gaps that it didn't. I still want very natural eyebrows. I just don't want them to look this weird. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go in with is concealer. And this is the part I'm gonna freaking hate. I picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. Somebody wanna explain what's going on? Somebody wanna explain? Anyways, so I picked up this concealer, swatched it in Mecca and I was like, Whew, that coverage is bomb diggity doo. Um, and then I wore it last Friday night and I wanted to throw myself in the bin. It was so cakey. As soon as I carved out my eyebrows, it went very patchy. It was, it was a hot mess, okay? It was a hot mess, kind of like my eyebrows today. I'm gonna try this again, and if it doesn't work, I'm literally going to give it to a friend. I'm just gonna sell it, because this thing was damn expensive. I nearly took it out a loan. Quickly, as well, I have the shade Medium Light Neutral, so this is actually a perfect shade for me, in my opinion. I'm gonna blend it out straight away because last time I left it and I'm too scared to do that again. Cause I want this to work. This is like a concealer I've wanted for a while. But at the same time, if it's not gonna work, it's gotta go. That's worked out all right. It's probably not the best match at the moment because of this foundation that I'm trying out. I 
Okay, why does it dry instantly? Like, what the heck? Like, I know some full coverage products can dry, like, really, really quick. But this is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this on my brush now. And I'm going to do underneath my eyes and on top. I literally love using this brush for concealer because it makes it so airbrushed and it doesn't make it cakey and it just blends concealer out so well. So come through. Okay, so moving on to a cream highlighting product. Um, I recently got some free makeup from Mecca and I purchased, no, I didn't purchase. I just said it was free. <sighs> I got the Hourglass Vanish uh, Highlighting Stick. Look at how cute it is. Um, anyways, this is just a cream highlighter in the shade Champagne Flash. Honestly, it looks so beautiful. I'm as keen as a bean. I'm just gonna pop it on my beauty blender to be honest and just go from there. Oh! Oh, look at that little glow! I like that! See, you know what? The problem is about liking hourglass products. Is that once you like them, like, obviously, like, you're going to want to get them, but they're so damn expensive. And I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. That is so... <gasps> I'm buying this. Oh, my gosh. That is so beautiful. Like, the closer I look at it, it's just pure glow. It's not shimmery. It's not glittery. It's so glowy. Oh my God, I'm totally buying the full size of this. My bank account's gonna hate me. Okay, so moving on to powder. Now, I did wanna use the one that I ordered from Sephora, but it's not arriving until tomorrow. I had a lot of products arriving tomorrow, but I just really wanted to film today. So I'll include all my new products in my next video, which will be up probably next week. I found this, apparently this is discontinued. It was discontinued a long time ago, but I found it at the same place I bought the foundation and the primer and stuff like that. This is the L'Oreal Translucide. Translucide? Fuck no, son. Um, this is just a luminous powder. Um, and I got mine in the shade Light, because they only had light. And then they had some scary ass medium dark shade. And I was like, oh. so I'm actually going to use this to bake underneath my eyes because it's obviously a light shade. Can I just say that concealer has not even creased around my eyes. Damn, this powder smells good. I literally don't even need to buff out the creases on that other eye. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what? I feel like I could just use this all over my face. So I'm just gonna gently like dab this all over my face. I'm gonna try and stay away from the highlighted areas. Okay, so. I'm going to move back onto my eyes really quickly because that's going to be like overly simple. Um, nothing too crazy today. So I'm going to use my chocolate gold palette from Too Faced because I haven't used this in a long time. Pretty sure I used it twice after that I did my review on it. So I'm just going to be taking a small blending brush from Morphe. And I'm going to be taking the So Bougie shade, which is the lightest brown in the palette. I'm just going to run that through my crease and I'm going to sneeze. Hey. Hey. Oh God, I think 
bloody Africa just heard me. Whew. Okay, with that same blending brush as well, I'm gonna go in with the Cocoa Truffle shade, which is just slightly darker. And I'm gonna put that on my outer V. And just blend that through here. I'm not gonna take it all the way through. Just a tiny bit, maybe just halfway through my crease. And then just blend up and out. I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush with nothing on it. And then I'm gonna start to soften the edges of this. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a tiny little shader brush. This one's also from Morphe. And I'm gonna go in with the black shade and I'm just gonna very gently go along my lash line and kind of wing it out, but it's gonna be really, really diffused. So I need to concentrate. So there we go. I've literally just done the softest, faintest winged eyeliner, which is what I want. Um, so now I'm just going to go back in with those two brown shades and just run them along my lower lash line just to make sure everything matches. I'm going to put a shimmer on my lid and obviously on my inner corner. So for my lid, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Old Money. And I'm just gonna use a little pencil brush from BH Cosmetics, just a little bit, just to pop that right in the center. And then I'm gonna drag it down to my tear duct as well. So that's all I'm going to use of the chocolate bar palette. I'm just going to go straight in with mascara now. Um, I'm using the Essence, the False Lashes Mascara. I'm just giving this another go, honestly. I know I said in my last video, not my last video, but one of my videos that I hated it, but I just really like to give products lots of chances before anything. Ooh, look. Starting to get clumpy. So like it starts off so good. You're like, oh my gosh, this is such a nice mascara. And then it just gets to that horrible clumpy side. I think if you use a tiny amount, the mascara is all right, but that's not the type of person I am. I love to use a crap ton. Alrighty, so I'm not gonna do false lashes or anything like that today. Like I said, just wanted to go for simple makeup today. Okay, so moving on to the rest of the face. I have three new products that I'm trying out. One that I've already tried and one that I've swatched. Yes. Okay. So the first one is the model's own sculpt and glow matte bronzing powder in the shade deep tan zero two. Now this looks really, really dark, but the only reason why I got this one was because the first shade was pretty pale and I couldn't tell if it was gonna be my shade or not, but this is the one that I got and I'm really excited to use it because the swatch was very, very nice. So I'm gonna go with my blush brush from Real Techniques and, oh, okay. It's like, it's it's pretty powdery. Uh, that's right. So I was gonna try this out. I'm just going to very gently buff that on. 
it blends out really nicely. I love it. It's so nice. It blends out beautifully. It's very smooth. It's not patchy. It's not muddy at all. And I used a really tiny amount. So I feel like it would definitely be buildable. So yay. I'm happy. Okay. So for blush today, I finally got the NARS orgasm blush and literally I'm living for this. I love it so freaking much. It's such a good blush. So I'm going to use that today. Okay, so moving on to a, another model's own product. I was watching an Instagram video and I saw a girl use this and I was like, what is that? Because the intensity of this highlighter made me fall off my chair. Um, so this is the model's own Sculpt and Glow highlighting powder in Golden Sand 01. This is freaking beautiful. So I am literally so keen to use this. I've swatched it and a swatch. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit because I don't know how intense this is going to be. Oh God. Okay. Ready? Welcome to the family. You pass. Okay. So <laughs> this is an amazing highlighter. I have found my new friend. Hello. So I'm obsessed. Oh my God. And it's very buildable as well. I'm noticing that you can build it up quite easily. So I just went ahead and popped it on my inner corner and my brow bone as well, because I was living for it. And it's just so damn pretty. I'm really impressed with that highlighter. So that's a new favorite. I'm just going to put a little bit of clear brow gel from Maybelline through my brows just to take away any powder or anything and get them to stand up. So last but not least, um, I have a new Urban Decay lip gloss that I got in a little sample size. Um, this is the Urban Decay, what is it? Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss and I have mine in the shade Naked. So I'm just gonna wear lip gloss today. I don't really feel like wearing lipstick. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere today, so. That's what we're going to do. I'm just going to clean off my lips because I've got a lot of foundation on there. So let's try out this lip gloss. Now I'm sure this would be much more pigmented or you will probably be able to tell the color better. If I had a lipstick or, you know, liquid lipstick or something like that underneath, but I can't be bothered because I really want to eat after this. Oh, oh, okay. Picture this, vanilla, cake batter, and like spearmint, like mint. Oh my God. <gasps> Yummy. Mm. It's not sticky. It's creamy. Ooh. All right, so I'm just gonna spray my face with the Urban Decay chill makeup setting spray. Alrighty guys. So that is the completed look for today. Like I said, it was not going to be anything special. <laughs> I just wanted to sit down, film a video, you know, do something nice and simple and try out a bunch of new products and just kind of see how I felt. I feel like I have three favorites. Obviously the blush is my favorite, but I have used that before. So I already know what that was like, but the ones that I haven't tried until now were the highlighter, the bronzer and the L'Oreal powder. These were my favorites. These were so amazing. So, so good. The powder has not settled at all. Um, like settled in a bad way. I feel like it has settled into my skin. Like, how do I explain it? It looks very smooth. It doesn't look like it's bringing out 
any fine lines. It's not gone all cakey. Um, the bronzer and the highlighter definitely get the tick from me. I really like the bronzer. I feel like I definitely need to clean it up underneath, but I'm, I'm just too lazy right now. <laughs> um, and the highlighter. I feel like that hourglass highlighter. Oh yeah. That's the other thing that I like. How did I miss that? The hourglass highlighter is definitely my favorite out of everything today. Like including these, definitely my favorite. I'm going to pick up the full size. So that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to... Oh my god. I need to go back to bed. Don't forget to like this video as it would mean so, so much to me. And if you enjoy these videos, let me know in the comments down below about what you like about them the most. Why was that so difficult for me to get out? I don't know. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But until next time, you guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.